All right, you're back. So I guess that means you're having a little bit of trouble with uh, number 81 on page 10. No, nope, page E. All right, think. And this is a tough one. So um, I kept the same picture that we had, but I took out the numbers for water and some of these numbers they gave to us in the problem. Like we know we're starting with this mass. <clears throat> we know that we're starting at this temperature, raising it to get it to the melting point. Okay, and then it melts and stays at that temperature until we get it to the boiling point. At the boiling point, it stays there, and then we raise the steam of iodine up to 198. So we have a few changes we have to go through. The heat of fusion is 61.7. And how do I know that? Did you have trouble finding that? It says that it's here on your periodic table. Well, here's iodine, and there's a whole bunch of numbers. And down here in the corner, it tells us the second one down is the heat of vaporization. And the third number is the heat of fusion. Okay. So if we go back here and look at iodine, the heat of fusion is where I got the 61.7. Right above that is the 164, and that's the heat of vaporization. Then we need to know, let's see if it's on here, the specific heat. Or is that on here? Ah, specific heat is the fourth number, okay? So, one, two, three, four, point two, one, four, zero point two, one, four. All right, so that's our C when we have to do C over here, okay? Let's walk through our steps, you ready? You have a calculator handy? I've got mine on calculator mode. Here we go. I'm going to get trapped in this cord here, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm going to start way over here. Hopefully you can see this. We're going to call this Q1. And we're going to raise the temperature from 25 to 113.5. So we need to use M times C times delta T. The M we know is 235, so we can put that in. The C value we just found is 0.214. And now let's figure out the change in temperature. We're going from 25 to 113.5. So if you on your calculator want to quick do that, let's see, 113.5 minus 25, 88.5. So that's all we need. So multiply those together. So times 0.214 times 235. Okay, did y'all get 4,450? And we'll round it to one decimal place. So let me look in the key and just see what they round it to. Actually, they carried out. Okay. So we're not going to round it yet. We're going to wait. Six, six, five. There we go. So we'll call that Q1. That just gets the temperature up to this point. Now, what happens when it's a liquid? Just like with water, it stays at this temperature until all of the mass is turned from solid into liquid, okay? So I call that the heat of melting. They call it the heat of fusion. Let's take that, so we're gonna, so that's Q2, and that's gonna be the mass times the delta HF for this one, okay? So 235, the heat of fusion was a 61.7. So do the math on your calculator. Woo! All right. Are you with me? 
Did you get it? I'm going to write it down, but don't just copy mine. Make sure you do the math here. Because I want you to see how it's working out. 499.5. Of course, that's joules. Same with this. Notice I didn't put all the units in. As long as we're in the same units, it makes it a little cleaner if you leave that out. And then we just know that our final answer is going to be energy, heat, so it will be in joules. All right, what's the next thing? Now that it's all in liquid form, now the temperature can change. It can gradually go up from 113.5 to 185.4. Let's figure out what that temperature change is, 185.4, and we'll subtract the starting temperature of 113.5, 71.9, okay, I don't like that little tail on the 7, let me get rid of that, okay, so Q3, we're going to take that formula over there, so the mass is still 235, C, 0 0.214, and now the change in temperature is 71.9. All right. Yep, 235. Okay. I'm not going to do the math for you. I'm going to let you finish. Okay, solve that out. Get a number, just like we did over here. Now let's figure out how would we do Q4. Q4 is we're at the 185.4 and it stays it's stuck at that temperature until all of the liquid has turned to vapor, to steam. Okay, And the heat of vaporization is 164. So we take the, where's our formula, mass times delta H. So we'll take the 235. Delta H was 164, okay? This is grams, this is joules per gram, so the grams will cancel out. And you'll get the answer in joules. Again, I'm not going to do that for you. Last step, here we go. Q5, we're going to use this formula again. 235, and the C value was 0.214. And now the change in temperature, we're going from 198, or excuse me, from 185.4 to 198. So we'll do 198 minus 185.4, 12.6 degrees. All right, once you've multiplied all those out and you get a number in joules, then the last step is you add all of these five things together. Now you think about it, each step wasn't that hard, okay? And it seemed mind-boggling when you started, but hopefully now it kind of makes sense. Each step by itself, add them all up and you get a big number. And then, I always tell my students, if you get to the last step, now they always round it based on significant figures, okay? So they round it to having three significant figures in the 10,000s, 1,000s, and 100s place, and then the last two digits are zeros. But if you have the number right before that in the score key, good job. Give yourself credit, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. You did the math right. It looks, it looks terrible when you put a big red X, right, on the problem. And you say, I failed, I didn't get it right. But if you got all these numbers right, and you added them and you got the number right before the last one, don't worry about it. It's just the significant figures. Um, if I'm your teacher, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. But it depends on your teacher. They may want you to review those rules and make sure you're rounding your answer to the correct number. So don't just look at the number on page 81. I mean, for problem 81, and look at that number. I didn't get exactly that number, okay? Look below where they solved it and find the uh, all the math involved. All right. Um, I would encourage you to, before you do the checkup, study it over. Look over all the terms there on page F. Make a study guide for yourself. Thankfully, yay, they only give you three problems to solve. 
and they don't look too bad. We're just doing one step, melting ice. Uh, number 39, we're vaporizing water. So we're going from water to, <clears throat> to kind of turn the water into the boiling point and then from the boiling point, well, that's it. Just one step. They're not even taking it to a higher temperature. All right, now number 40 is similar to what we did here with all these steps, except you're doing it with water. And you may look at your charts to get your numbers before you uh, start solving that problem. Again, they don't give you much room. I would definitely do these on separate paper, show your work, and uh, I hope you do well.